So now I want to talk about your website. Okay. So you recently launched the website. Yeah. So why don't you tell us a little bit about that? Okay, so the website advertises the, the Living World Organic Games that we run uh, seven days or seven games a week. And then I have three that are free to play, but they're pretty much full. They're run by my resident DMs that are in training. Um, so 10 games total on the server. And then so to get additional advertising, plus we sell merchandise, mm. obviously, um, with like the logos of the of the server, the blood gates and everything right. like that. Um, so as players get into it, but we're trying to expand obviously and not just be about gaming, but about merchandise and other things, mm -hmm. but we have to start somewhere, mm -hmm. you know? So the website's just a, mostly an advertising mechanic and we'll get some videos and blogs happening. Yeah, yeah, I saw that. <clears throat> That's pretty cool. So, yeah. are you going to be writing the blog then? Or? I'm going to put a few. Uh, I don't have a lot of time for that, though, mm. honestly. Yeah. Like, between running, like, seven games um, and then help help managing the other three free games plus life, uh, right. it's hard to do a blog, mm. you know, like, repetitively, mm -hmm. regularly. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I... Uh... I have a blog and I try to post at least one thing like every month and collaborate like, even that I'm, I'm struggling with help me come into the world <laughs> listen in on stuff right. and write blogs so what kind of post would there be on, on your blog you know we'll talk about different encounters of certain moral decisions or dilemmas that people have to go through or events mm -hmm. things like this because the scenes are amazing right like some you want to focus on the on the really good stuff though like let's say they're trying to take down some kind of vampire lord right mm -hmm. and it gets to this climactic moment where the characters are about to fight this you know ultimate boss mm -hmm. but something happens and then the boss gets away or whatever like you know moments like that right and you focus like your blog it becomes like um little uh, clips like uh, little teaser clips right like what could happen if you play you know what I mean yeah okay well I mean we can definitely uh, look into that and I'd be happy to contribute however I can you know yeah okay so mm, okay so I use WordPress for my blog okay I think it's good enough mm. you use Squarespace yeah how's your experience been using Squarespace it's really nice it's really intuitive yeah yeah it's a plug and play platform. It's no brainer. Nice. Yeah, it's pretty easy. But they want you to keep paying for email blasts, which kind of pisses me off a little bit. Right. So you do have a newsletter? Yeah. Like I have promos that I put out and all that kind of thing. But I only had so many free email blasts. Right. And now my subscription base is building and I can't email blast unless I pay them more money right I've already paid for the website I've already paid for the service like yeah. you know what I mean anyways it's a lot of money <laughs> it's just ridiculous so but either way but I guess it could be worth it I can use a third party site it yeah. I don't need to use Squarespace to put out an email blast mm -hmm. you know what I mean yeah I just like it because I have my templates in there and they're all designed nice mm -hmm. and you know right. yeah it's convenient yeah it's convenient <laughs> that's the thing Okay, and so, so you talked about future features you want to have on your website. So the blog, you said some videos. Maybe? Yeah, videos from like actual game footage because mm -hmm. uh, we have streamers. Right. Well, streamer, I should say right now, we have one guy that's streaming, and he's strictly paid or uh, play for free. Um, but as part of the agreement for him being consistently a streamer like i'll give him a, a, a couple of credits you know and be like come play a game stream the game that people are paying to play and make their party bigger mm. uh so he's in a game our only starfinder game that's the one that i decided to put him in because he likes starfinder and none of the people are joining it it's very uh underpopulated i should say okay you know why do you think that is uh well f first of all star pa starfinder people are even more so against paying to play than normal role-playing okay tabletoppers um 
because they're usually like pretty efficient with macros and programming the sheets and everything and all the options so they don't need people to run for money a game right. that they can do you know what i mean right um and they're still running some really good games but there's a big difference between people that don't pay to play and people that pay to play mm -hmm. there's a big play difference between their personality or their how they go about certain decision make really you know oh yeah big they're time probably more focused on self-preservation big right? time that yeah. and finding everything that they can right they don't want to be rushed into a fight <laughs> They don't want to be pushed into some needless conflict, you know? Right, yeah. They, they want to get their money's worth. <laughs> yeah, they want to get their money's worth. And they talk to everybody to get all the information. Yeah. You know? That makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you were you were talking before we started recording about a session that you had recently where the whole session had no fights. It was just talking. Yeah, just talking. Yeah. They had to, they had to figure out if it was safe to bring back the recently enslaved wife of the miller who was taken in the middle of the night mysteriously they found her and they left her in the village outside in the jungle before they brought her back into the main area main town or whatever mm. um and they had to just basically talk to everybody to see if it was safe or what the situation was and right. how to get this person who's branded back in to a town who's run by a slaver's guild so it puts a lot of pressure on the player mm -hmm. yeah i can imagine <laughs> <laughs> okay so um so i saw on your what is it uh start playing platform yeah you've been gming since 95 yeah which is actually longer than i've been alive um so maybe we can talk about some of the platforms that you use so i saw you use discord world 20 foundry vtt theater of the mind yeah so foundry i haven't actually run a game in it but i play in foundry okay I've played games in foundry so I'm, i'm familiar with it but um i don't have a rig to run it i like to be mobile so mm -hmm. i don't necessarily anyways uh theater of the mind just means that you don't need anything you don't need a map you don't need tokens right. yeah figurines yeah anything you just have your sheet and your dice mm -hmm. and a pencil that's it <laughs> That's all you need. And a table. Yeah, yeah. So do people still use physical character sheets? or? Yeah, I mean, people don't play online. Right. There's people all over that come together as buddies and groups, and they play around the table. Mm. Yeah, for sure. That's fun, yeah. Yeah.